Hi guys, Kotutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how to set a title and even in which particular life cycle of the fragment you initialize the UI widgets. But we have not yet discussed how to trigger another fragment and even if a fragment should trigger another fragment. To discuss that, we have to make this discussion even a bit more generic one. So you basically have two fragments and one single activity and the question is how the fragment one should trigger fragment two or communicate something to fragment two. Before we proceed let's have a look at what android documentation says it says that you can think of fragment as modular section of an activity it further goes on to say that you should design each fragment as a modular and reusable activity component the most important keyword here is modular what it basically trying to say is fragments should be designed as modular components fragments should not be aware of each other that is fragment one should not be aware of that there exists another fragment too and fragments should not launch other fragments what it basically means is if a click event happens on fragment 1 that should not trigger fragment 2 directly what actually should however happen is the fragment 1 should communicate the event that happened in the fragment 1 to activity and it is activity's responsibility to take a call on what it needs to do with this information and if necessary trigger fragment 2 or any other fragment that might be available in the application as per the application functionality so this makes it very clear that it is the activity that is aware of all the fragments that are there in the application it is activities responsibility to add remove or replace the fragments now the question is how the fragment will inform activity that a particular event happened to do that we will use something called as callback interface and it is the callback interfaces that will be used to communicate the fragment interaction through the activity when you get down to implementation details it is nothing but a simple interface with a method now the activity is going to implement this particular interface as a part of that it will have to give the implementation of the callback method that is there in the callback interface but if you pay attention the callback method in the activity is just the implementation of the method it is not the invocation so the next question is who is going to invoke this particular method and as you can guess it would be fragments that will be invoking this particular method but once again how the fragment can invoke this particular method well for that fragment will be having an instance of a callback interface when the fragments are created and then from the fragment invocation to callback method will happen and that will actually trigger the method in the activity to be called and this is how the overall interaction will happen it is better to understand this through a demo so I am going to revisit the same demo that we have been using for the discussion purpose and if you observe the difference now I have this interface called as callback interface with a method called as callback method and if you go back to the main activity this activity implements the callback interface and when you implement an interface you have to override the method or provide the implementation of the method and right now my callback method is not doing much it is just showing a toast message that to do trigger other fragment now the question is how the country's fragment is going to communicate to the main activity for that i will create an instance of callback interface here in the country's fragment and then i will also create a, another method which will be a public method it will be public void set callback interface and it takes a callback interface as the parameter and then i will set the instance that i have created in the fragment with whatever the argument value that i am receiving in this particular method and now in the list view countries when i do a set on item click listener this is where the communication needs to happen from the fragment to the main activity so i will check if callback interface is not equal to null this is very very important if you don't do this then you may run into a null pointer exception if it is not equal to null you just invoke callback method but this particular method set callback interface has not yet been called so the callback interface instance of the fragment has not yet been set so where to set it well if you go back to the main activity when i am adding countries fragment Countries fragment dot set callback interface and pass the callback interface implementation. In this case, it is the activity 
that is implementing the callback interface and that is why this would work perfectly fine and that's it and if you run the code you will observe that when i click on this it will show a toast message and here what you can actually do is instead of toasting you can invoke another method and fragment description so this is also a similar functionality where instead of adding countries fragment i am adding the country description fragment and if you observe the difference here i am not using the transaction backstack and here i am using the transaction backstack you can make a guess why i am doing so and when I click on this now you will be navigated to a fragment right now no matter what gets clicked I am showing you a default country description because that is what the implementation looks like so right now this is a very dumb implementation but this was important because I wanted to demonstrate the important concept of how the callback interfaces work this is one of the very commonly used design pattern in Java not just in Android having understood how the callback interfaces work in the next video we will We'll see how we will use this concept to actually complete the functionality so take care see you in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye